Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another collab. Um, I wanna first and foremost thank Jen from Jen's WW Journey for hosting this collab. You are amazing and you host the best collabs. Um, in addition, there are several other wonderful people joining the collab as well. I will list their links in the description box down below so you should go definitely go check them out. Um, so today's collab, sorry, my can't, my <laughs> curtain is in the way. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the bell notification to know when I've posted another video or a new video and leave a comment down below just so that I know you're a new subscriber. Please let me know what channel you're from um, and I would really appreciate having you here. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have four boys. Um, they are ages six and under. So I have uh, Liam, who's six, Logan, who's five, and Brady and Brody are my twin three-year-olds. Um, so life here is quite busy. Um, I am a registered nurse, but I am currently, as of January of this year, staying home with my children. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom currently, and then I will transition back into nursing after I get everybody into school and kind of things are just crazy. That was a big aside, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little background about myself. Um, I am currently almost into, I've reached lifetime and um, I've kind of been maintaining slash going back to losing a couple of pounds. So right now um, I've been really, I had to adjust to life as a stay at home mom and I definitely did gain about 10 pounds back um, just because I'm constantly surrounded by food. Sometimes I get a little stressed and I eat. So, you know, I've been trying to make it a point to go to the gym and really just get my eating back on track. Um, but that was a big aside, again. Um, so today's video is going to be a smoothie collaboration and I'm super excited about this one. Um, just so you guys know, right off the bat, I am not somebody that counts blended fruit. On Weight Watchers, they do suggest that you count blended fruit because if you blend something, it is a lot quicker and faster to consume than if you were physically eating like five strawberries instead of throwing them in the blender and blending them up. Um, but again, I just, personal preference, and I know a lot of people are in the same boat as me, um, I don't count blended fruit. So the points that you will see are no count for blended fruit, but I will also put the points if you do count blended fruit, and it's actually pretty significant how high blended fruit can be. Um, so yeah, without further ado, if you would like to watch this video, if you would like to see this video, then just keep watching. All right guys, so the first smoothie that we're gonna make is super simple but super delicious and it will be three smart points. Um, again, I do not count blended fruit, so yes. Um, <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is use a full carton of chocolate premier protein, one, uh, two tablespoons of PB2. I'm gonna weigh this out woo, on my food scale. Um, so two tablespoons is 12 grams. And then you need about a cup of ice, I do the whole blender bottle, so that's how much ice I filled it up to. I have the Nutribullet. Um, and then one full banana. So all you're literally gonna do is just add all of your ingredients, weigh out the PB2, blend it, and you are good to go. Let's do this. All right, guys, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog drinking water, but there's always some background noise happening. Um, anyways, I'm doing it this way because my kitchen is kind of a mess and I don't wanna clean it or I don't have time to clean it right now. So. Um, I have a food scale, you can just use any type of food scale, but this is just to weigh out your PB2. So I'm gonna take this, especially, I have a giant bucket of PB2, I bought this at Walmart, um, because I don't want, I've had this happen where I've like been trying to pour it out of the container and just a whole bunch just goes push into the cup. So I'm also gonna use my handy dandy spoon. I'm gonna take my bucket of ice, Put it on my scale, zero it out, and now I'm gonna spoon 12 grams or two tablespoons of PB2 into my blender cup. That's nine. That's 12, all right. All right, so literally the rest is so super simple. I'm gonna add my banana right now. This is like a ginormous banana. <laughs> Did you know that the proper way to open a banana is actually from the opposite end, not from the stem part, which my husband cut off, um, but you actually pierce here 
and peel down. Just a fun fact, in case you didn't know that, that is the proper way to open a banana, which I found out probably like a year or two ago. And lastly, so super simple, you just take a full carton of chocolate premier protein and dump it in. All right, so I'm just gonna cap. And blend. Up. So it's nice and thick. Looks super yummy. Let me get a straw and we will taste test. All right, guys. So I have never tried this one personally, but I'm excited to try it. It's nice and thick because of the ice. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is good. It's creamy. It's thick, it's chocolatey, you can taste the banana, you can taste the peanut butter. It is so good. Um, in my opinion, if my family was enjoying ice cream, this would totally do it for me. I don't have any like fat-free ready whip right now, um, but if I did, I would totally sp um, spray some on there. But yeah, this is three smart points. I will calculate the points based on the banana. Um, if you do count blended fruit but for somebody that doesn't count blended fruit this delicious smoothie is three freestyle smart points and let's get on to the next one all right guys for my second smoothie this is one of my favorite smoothies you guys have probably seen me include this in what i eat in a day is i like to have this for breakfast um as a mom it's super convenient to just be able to blend up a smoothie and be on my way um so i start off with whole strawberries the amount is up to you. Um, I use the bigger blender cup, so I use a decent amount. Like I'd probably say I use maybe like eight, depending on the size of the strawberries or more. Um, if you do count blended fruit, obviously measure yours out, but I don't measure mine. I know that, I feel like frozen strawberries, I saw something on Pinterest and I was horrified at the amount of points that it was, um, if you do count blended fruit. But again, I do not. Um, so I use about eight frozen strawberries, a whole carton of vanilla premier protein, two tablespoons of PB2, and a full banana. All right guys, so I'm starting off with my frozen strawberries. And again, I just eyeball this. Like, when I tell you they come in varied sizes, <laughs> just kind of see how much you need in comparison to your blender cup. I like to fill mine pretty much all the way. Um, now that I'm doing that, I forgot that I usually do my banana first, so. Definitely start with the banana because it will blend up a lot easier. Um, the strawberries end up sticking to the bottom and it's harder to blend. All right. So do your banana. And then I literally just fill it up pretty much to the top. Grab your vanilla premier protein. Add the whole thing. I'm gonna put my distracting trash out of the scene along with my strawberries. Okay, so now I need my food scale again just to weigh out my PB2. I'm gonna zero it out, grab my PB2, and 
12 grams. Seven, 11, still 11, 12. Perfect. All right. Woo. So now that we've got all of our ingredients, we're going to blend this bad boy up. So I'm going to grab my Nutribullet. Okay, now I've had my Nutribullet for about three years. You're not recommended to fill it up as high as I do, and I am shocked that this thing hasn't <laughs> croaked yet. Sometimes it does leak, so if that happens, I apologize. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> But really, this smoothie is delicious, so you might want to try it. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to, uh, one of my kids shut my other kid in the bottom of the grill. Anyways, so I want, I still want to blend this more because you can obviously see I have frozen strawberries at the bottom. I usually do the banana first, but I just had like a brain fart. So yeah, sorry about that. So this is what I was talking about. Now it's gonna start leaking. So this is blended up enough in my opinion. <laughs> my Nutribullet has been through the ringer, but if I have to recommend, I recommend these because like I said, this thing has been through the ringer and it's still trucking. All right, so this is what this beautiful smoothie looks like. It comes, it's like a really pretty pink color. It's almost the color of my, wa my Apple watch band, um, but it's super good and three smart points. And let me taste test for you. All right, this one is so pretty. Like I said, it's like a super nice color. I put it in a mason jar to be a little more fancy. Sorry if you can hear my son, he is blowing raspberries on the glass slider. My twins are actually on each side blowing raspberries back and forth at each other. <laughs> Anyways, mm. this is so good. It's so thick. The frozen strawberries basically serve as ice so it's just like super thick it's so good three smart points mm. did you say that peanut butter strawberry banana smoothie enjoy i just thought i would add so i was in a super rush when i made this well when i made both smoothies i had to bring my son to his kindergarten move up day um, and I threw the strawberry banana, peanut butter, peanut butter, strawberry banana. I still haven't created like a set title for that. Um, but I put it in the freezer and it's like ice cream now. Right. Bonus. Um, but I did just want to let you guys know, this could also make a mean like slushy or ice cream. So try it out. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. One thing I did want to mention about these smoothies, um, because there's banana, they oxidize really quickly and they will look kind of brown and gross. So I would suggest if you make this, definitely consume it right away or put it in the freezer just to preserve the really nice pink color. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I also wanted to send a huge thank you to Jen from Jen's WW Journey for hosting this collab. I thought it was a fantastic idea. I know not everybody does drink smoothies, but there's so many different things that you can do with a blender. Um, and I hope that this collab gave you all some inspiration and maybe some good ideas for some yummy breakfast, some yummy snacks. Um, please don't forget to check out all of the other people that are participating, participating in this collab's channel 
their links are in the description box down below. Um, and again, thank you so much to Jen. If you did like this video, if you do like my channel, please again, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you here um, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I do post a video. Um, it's a lot of fun around here. I do post a lot about my kids. I post a lot of what I eat in a day's grocery hauls. Um, <clears throat> Just a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.